The gospel will never be popular. Those six words changed my life and liberated me from thinking, I need to soften the gospel or make Jesus more acceptable in order to win the world. From homosexuality and gender compromises, to pastors who refuse to warn people about serious dangers, to people who are afraid to talk about the reality of sin and our need for repentance, we need to remember that punting on the full and biblical gospel and its implications is not turning people onto God. It's actually turning our backs on the cross. It's a failure to be faithful. In 1 Corinthians 1, verses 18 to 20, the Bible says, for the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us, that's the believer, who are being saved, it's the power of God. For it is written, Paul continues, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the cleverness of the clever I will set aside. And then with that spirit-inspired edge that Paul the Apostle has, he goes off. Where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? Friends, our calling this week is not to run a PR campaign for Jesus, to make him more palatable to the world, but rather to declare the good news that God's wrath was poured out on his son. And that while all have sinned and the punishment for that sin is eternity in hell, if you'll change your mind about sin and you'll quit believing that you can earn your way into heaven with enough good works and instead place your faith in Jesus Christ, you can be saved. That may not be popular, but it is powerful.